Before we start this video, please click and subscribe to my channel so that we can create more videos just for you. The term, ambassador, has its origins in ancient Rome. It is derived from the Latin word, ambactus, which referred to someone who acted as a servant or an assistant. In ancient Rome, an ambassador, or ambactus, originally denoted an official representative sent by the Roman Senate to negotiate and conduct diplomatic affairs with foreign nations or city-states. These individuals were tasked with delivering messages, negotiating treaties, and maintaining diplomatic relations between Rome and other powers. Over time, the term evolved to refer to individuals appointed by a sovereign or government to serve as official representatives in foreign countries. Ambassadors are responsible for representing their home country's interests, fostering diplomatic relations, negotiating agreements, and communicating with the host country's government. Today, the title of ambassador continues to be used to designate the highest ranking diplomatic representatives sent by one sovereign state to another symbolizing the formal relationship between nations and serving as key intermediaries in international diplomacy. There are several perks to being an accredited ambassador of the receiving state, but the most important of all is the diplomatic immunity of the diplomat over local jurisdiction. Diplomatic immunity is a legal concept that grants certain privileges and immunities to diplomats and their families, ensuring that they can effectively carry out their diplomatic duties without fear of harassment, arrest, or interference by the host country's authorities. The key aspects of diplomatic immunity include Immunity from criminal jurisdiction Diplomats are generally immune from the criminal jurisdiction of the host country. This means they cannot be arrested, detained, or prosecuted for crimes committed in the course of their official duties. However, the sending country retains the right to waive this immunity in certain cases. Immunity from civil jurisdiction Diplomats and their families are often granted immunity from civil lawsuits in the host country's courts, ensuring they cannot be sued for personal matters. Inviolability of diplomatic premises The premises of diplomatic missions, such as embassies or consulates, are considered inviolable under international law. This means that host country authorities cannot enter these premises without permission from the sending country's government. Exemption from taxes and duties Diplomats and their families are often exempt from paying taxes and customs duties in the host country. Diplomatic immunity is based on the principles of international law aimed at facilitating communication and fostering relations between countries. It is governed by the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations, an international treaty adopted in 1961 that sets out the rules and guidelines for diplomatic relations between countries. While diplomatic immunity provides essential protections for diplomats to perform their duties, it is not absolute and can be waived or lifted in certain circumstances, especially in cases of serious crimes or actions that significantly breach diplomatic norms. The sending country also has the authority to recall or withdraw a diplomat from their mission in the host country. Don't forget to share and click the subscribe button so that we can create more content just for you.